Well, even if you're not a pack rat, Running out of space on a PC is still an ever-present concern. And even though a typical computer might ship with a thousand times more storage than what you would have gotten a couple decades ago, I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels like it's never enough. But with increasingly huge hard drives available on the market, both under and overestimating just how much storage you need is pretty easy to do. So how do you determine how much disk space is enough? Well, as it turns out, there really isn't a great universal baseline. Just like in our video on how fast of an internet connection you need, which you can check out here, the minimum amount of storage you should get is going to be heavily dependent on what you're normally filling your drive with. For example, let's say that you're a gamer with an ever-growing Steam library. With games becoming more and more complex, especially on the visual side, it's common for even simpler titles to require around a gigabyte of space, with bigger budget AAA games wanting 50 gigs or even more. That means that if you've picked up or built a system with a rather standard one terabyte hard drive, as few as about a dozen or so games can eat up half of your disk space right there. So have a look at the games you've purchased or would like to have and tally up how much space you'll need based on what the game information page indicates. If you need a decent starting point though, two terabytes should be enough to store your games comfortably. That is, at least the ones you're likely to want to play right away without waiting for them to download again. Obviously though, games aren't the only thing that can hog hard drive space. If you store or work with videos on your PC, a mere hour of compressed 1080p video can take up between 40 and 50 gigabytes of space at 30 frames per second, while uncompressed video, if you're shooting in some kind of raw format, can actually take up around five times that much. Then you get to multiply those numbers again by four or five if you work with 4K video. You can see just how quickly even a spacious hard drive can fill up for video editors. So, if you're saving run-of-the-mill compressed 1080p videos from your smartphone, reserving a terabyte or four of space might actually be lots. But for higher resolutions or working with uncompressed video in programs like Adobe Premiere, you might need four or five terabytes or even a few 10 terabyte drives, depending on whether you actually edit video or you just want to use your PC as a storage repository. Now, stills photography is a lot more forgiving. Raw image files shot at a high resolution of 20 or so megapixels will often take up around 20 megabytes each on your drive, meaning that a terabyte is enough to store roughly 50,000 of these photos. So yeah, even for avid photographers, a terabyte or two of reserved storage should be okay, and it's possible to get away with less if you're okay with going back and pruning the bad takes. Now, if you're just saving compressed JPEG images that friends and family send you, these take up much less space. So storage is far less of a concern. Another piece of good news is that if you do find yourself needing several extra terabytes of storage, hard drive prices are always dropping. So we usually recommend that you buy only what you need and then expand as you go. Hopefully this was helpful and happy hard drive shopping. We're gonna have some links in the video description. Speaking of happy, if getting a little bit smarter every day makes you happy, then check out our sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant publishes several daily challenges, daily, that provide a quick and fascinating view into math, logic, science, engineering, or computer science. So whether you're stuck in a commute or you just wanna learn something new every day, their daily challenges are a fun, bite-sized way to master concepts by applying them. Each challenge comes with illustrations, animations, or interactive visualizations, and all the context that you need to solve the challenge for yourself. So if you want to actively learn new, fascinating concepts every day, head over to brilliant.org slash techquickie. We'll have that link below and finish your day a little bit smarter than you started it. But you watch TechWiki too, so actually a, a fair bit smarter than you started it. The first 200 of you to do so are going to get 20% off the annual premium subscription, which allows you to view all of the daily challenges in the archives and unlock their dozens of problem solving courses. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, dislike, check out our other videos, and leave a comment with video suggestions. You might just see your topic on a future fast as possible. But you won't unless you subscribe and ring the bell. So, just saying.